What's up guys, happy Friday. A lot of you responded to my Instagram story from the other day that you were interested in easy weeknight recipes. So we thought we would have a little fun today and show you how we meal plan. Meal planning has saved me so much energy and frustration because of the dreaded question, what's for dinner? And I found that when kids are involved in the planning and the cooking, they are more likely to be involved in the consuming of your meal. So, I also like to do this on Fridays because you can plan for a grocery order pickup on a Sunday and that saves you so much time to not have to go to the grocery store. And that way on Saturday, you can add anything to your cart that you might've missed on Friday. So we plan for five meals a week because we leave one night for leftovers so that we're not wasting food. And also another night for anything from a family dinner with going to a family member's house for dinner a quick meal if we need something just really easy. Wednesdays are a little bit crazy for us sometimes. Or take out to support a local restaurant. So we plan for five meals. And with that, we use our handy dandy category jar. We had already picked our categories for this week. There are, I don't know, probably 30 different categories. Or maybe like 15 different categories in here. And from there, we'll show you how we pick what recipe we're gonna make. We have these little cheat sheets that each black box is a category and there are recipes within those and so we can pick from there. Or we could just go off the top of our head of what we know um, is our favorite. So we already picked tacos and I already know this little one is gonna pick that she wants regular tacos, which means she would like ground beef and we do shredded cheese, sour cream, uh, guacamole, tomatoes, salsa, the works. And I also make a Spanish rice with that. We use an instant pot a lot and I absolutely love it. The rice is nice because there are three of us that either don't like to eat tacos. I like to eat tacos, but, or if you want an easier option is to make a taco bowl and that's just so simple. You put all your taco toppings right on top of your rice. So, and if you want a gluten-free option, I love corn tortillas. I love cooking them a little bit on the stove top to make them extra crispy, and it actually makes the tortilla sweeter. You probably find that in a lot of restaurants now is that they're using corn tortillas. So, some people like them, some people don't, but we usually have both options available. The next category that we have is Italian, and I don't think we decided on what we want for Italian, right? What do you think? You want spaghetti? Just spaghetti? Yeah. Maybe the chicken spaghetti. Chicken spaghetti. I love chicken spaghetti. So the chicken spaghetti recipe that we love is actually the Pioneer Woman's recipe. It's phenomenal. So that's something that I'm going to be sharing and highlighting um, from her. Our next category is nachos. And nachos are really fun because you pick what meat. You could do pulled pork. You could do ground beef, you could do no meat, you can have a meatless Monday, that's also a category. Um, I personally like to do barbecue chicken and we put them on kettle cooked chips instead of tortillas. So we'll highlight our nachos sometime and show you how we, we do that. But nachos are just really fun because you can make it your own. And again, it's a fun thing for kids to help cook and a fun thing to eat, right? So we're gonna do barbecue chicken nachos with kettle cooked chips. Okay. And then we have um, quiche. So that's also one of our categories is breakfast and you can easily make the quiche for breakfast, but the quiche is really quick. And I love quiches because you can just put whatever you have, whether it's roasted peppers, mushrooms, spinach, different types of sauce, che soft cheeses, from feta to blue cheese, goat cheese. There are so many different varieties of quiches that you can make, and I'm also gonna share some of those with you. And then the last category is this little one's favorite, so she gets to pick whatever recipe, but she's kind of in a tough spot because we already have tacos, and we're doing the regular tacos, and that's your favorite, favorite, you also love chicken spaghetti. So what are you gonna pick? Um, chicken, rice, um, casserole. Yeah, what vegetable in it? Mushrooms. Like mushrooms. So that's the other cool thing. We always have a couple ingredients that we can just throw a meal together if we need to. And 
This casserole that she's talking about, I actually started out as a chicken broccoli casserole with cheddar cheese on top, but the girls are not big broccoli fans, so I mix it up a bit. They love mushrooms, put mushrooms in there, change the cheese to complement that, and then there's a thyme cream sauce that just goes over, and the really awesome part about it is you don't cook the rice and you don't cook the chicken or the vegetables before you um, put it in the oven. So the one thing with that one, yes, it's easy to assemble, but it does take about an hour to cook. So if you plan ahead for that, you'll be just fine. So I think that's about it. I think we've done our meal planning for the week and we'll double, double check our order, share with daddy what we're having and go from there. So I'm going to be posting our weekly menus on the blog on probably Sunday evening. So I'll share that with you and all the recipes to go along with it. So we hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you soon, right? Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.